Welcome to the Podness with Face, Pat, and Tiz. And then my second one, I don't know if this is controversial at this point. <laughs> Probably is. I don't agree with none this person does. Like, nothing. It's what? He is what? trash, trash, trash. Except for this one thing. I still like hella R. Kelly songs, yo. Fool this man. <laughs> like, I be finding myself, like, singing the fuck out of shit. And then I be remember, like, oh, shit, that's R. Kelly. Damn, I ain't supposed to. Be singing this no more, but damn, what was that cut right there? God damn it. Like, that, that damn flirt remix with T-Pain came on the other day. I was in this bitch. Damn, 28. When I, uh, when I, uh, when I, uh, when I pull up to the club, all the shouties be like, damn, 28. Like, oh, this, this is a damn show, R. Kelly. Fuck. So, um, I, hey, man, look, I, I think he is a horrendous human being. I have, I hold them in the highest level of disregard and contempt. Damn, that motherfucker made a cut, didn't he? Can't nobody be doing this for the verses. Can't nobody touch his catalog in the verses. That motherfucker. I'm going to have 72 verses. Just you know, the Amit really... Deposit series can be like a verses by itself. Like, now the midget jumps out of the cabinet and stumps the policeman on his toe. I would just like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's not fair. Like, God damn it, man. Why? Why the fuck you had to be disgusted? If, because if he wasn't, you wouldn't have the songs that you have. You have to, let me, let me put my, um, and then I'll go into my gets the grain here. A lot of times, a lot of these uh, geniuses they're not right in the head either. I had plastic surgery because I was trying to look good for y'all. I got liposuction because I didn't want y'all to call me fat. Look at Kanye. Anyway, he's also from Chicago. Um, anyway, um, first of all, I, when I was young. Chicago. I know they be talking about Flint, but they might want to check Chicago. Mm-hmm. I, when I was young, um, I always was suspect of R. Kelly. One. Um, first of all, y'all playing these songs at a cookout with all these kids around. Like, I shouldn't be listening to this guy trying to get it in because you know it's wrong or whatever. I, I shouldn't be listening to this. And y'all are just playing this shit. I would say earmuffs as well. Earmuffs. And they can say, fuck, shit, bitch, whatever you want. Cock, balls. I'm a child. Y'all still just playing this shit around me. Whatever. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's... What, and then he's really descriptive at what he does. This is R. Kelly. You know how excited I am about comic books? That's how R. Kelly is descriptive about sex. Like, he's a nerd. Like, he's, he's, you know, there's people that are nerds or like football <laughs> fanatics and stuff like that. He, he's that when it comes to describing Sex. That in, in sex <laughs> like he knows like stat points and shit you know you know the clitoris vibrates at a two million down um mile radius and stuff like that he knows shit like that what they used to say they used to say well nothing like an arcade live show yo that shit was disgusting Discuss. I would never go. You ain't about to piss on me. Eat that oh, man. Here, maybe. maybe. Now that I think about it, I don't even want to drink this lemonade no more. That was nasty as fuck. But them songs, man. Goddamn song. His personal life died. I find it so hard. Like, and I, I can disconnect from everybody else. Like, I ain't watched the Cosby show since. Oh, shit. But damn, R. Kelly's songs, man. This nigga, and he wrote for everybody. So it's like, I found myself in this bitch the other night. Me and the wife was in here jamming. I don't mind. I don't mind. I you was, don't mind either. And I was like, oh, damn, babe. That's R. Kelly. It was like. I mean, you can still I listen to R. Kelly. Kelly. I was like, I promise you, that is changing faces in R. Kelly. I remember that music video and everything. Because I thought he yeah. was creeping in in the video for some reason. Like, why does nigga keep popping out of nowhere? 
Because he's a creep. And he's been a creep. Like R. Kelly has always gave y'all subtle signs that he's been a creep all his career. And you can still listen to him because he's not getting any of that money. (laughs) He's not getting any of the money. For the pedophilia. It's not funding it at all. He's he's not getting none of that money because he can't read. And and because he can't read, he he didn't get good contracts. Hey, people out there reading this fundamental, man. I'm one cool cat who loves to read. It's not coincidental. Reading is fundamental. And if you're not going to be able to read, at least do like Floyd Mayweather did and get really good people around you that can read the contracts for you. But don't be out here being dumb and can't read. It's one thing to not be able to read. Like, that's a skill. But that doesn't mean that you have that you lack intelligence. That means you have not applied your intelligence to that skill to actually practice it. But don't be a dumbass illiterate person. Illiteracy is cool. I, I get it. There's a, a lot. There's a high adult illiteracy rate in America. So I understand that there's a problem that we got to fix there. But that doesn't mean you have to be so dumb that you don't know that you can't read and then don't get people in place that can actually like look out for you. And I don't mean like new lawyers. I mean like get your cousin Randy or like your mama and them to like look that shit over one time and be like, Oh no, baby! I don't think that you might want to get them them lawyers to look back at this. That, that, that like you ain't gonna be, you gonna be broke as hell. Like let let somebody that you know no no love and respect and, and care about you that can read read that shit over. But don't be dumb in the middle. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, nah, he don't want to do that. But uh, yeah, he was dumb and now he don't got no money. And because he don't got no money, that's probably why he's in jail now. Now, if he had money or whatever, he'd probably still be out pissing on people right now um, and doing all that financial shit, and then y'all would still be defending him and his shit, but because he don't have no money, because he can't read and get good lawyers, and lawyers don't give a fuck about his situation because it's no way you can beat this situation, um, he's where he at right now, and he's always been a creep. I always thought his music was creepy, um, but yeah. It's okay to listen to it because he's not getting any of that money because he can't read. Um, I guess I should go into my gifts the grain. So I'm on a bit. Some-